Hello again, everyone. I'm Jeremy Jones, and we're here with another episode of Coach's Corner. We're here to talk about the mental process, or as some say, the pre-shot routine. So what we have here is a game of nine ball, and we've just broke the balls. We've had a good break with three on the break, which is sweet. But what we do first when it comes to the mental process is we get behind the shot we're looking at, and we try to make some type of decision. Um, as you get better, the decisions come easier. Um, but a good decision or a bad decision, they both can be learned from. So in our first process, again, we're assessing what we have here. We have a shot on the one ball to the corner, and we're going to try and come two rails to the three. That's the decision I've made. Now, once we start to make the decision, really the mental process or the pre-shot routine comes down to just basically gathering information. And when we gather information, we want to keep this as mild as possible. You know, in other sports, reaction sports, you know, they have to react quickly. So they look at the rim playing basketball, they look at the baseball playing baseball. But in pool, we can actually take our time a little more and gather more information because we're a stationary sport. So, but again, the key is to gather information in a mild way. We don't want to overload the brain. So now again, we've made our decision. So we're going to look at gathering that information I was talking about. We're first going to kind of look at how the cue ball wants to come off the one ball. What's the natural angle there? And then we want to come two rails. So we, have, we realize we have to apply a little spin to the ball. But what happens is when we start to look at these routes, we're feeding the brain information that not only gives us our tip position, but gives us our swing speed for the shot itself. So again, very, very important uh, not to trip out about the information too much. Uh, realize it's just everything's very, very mild, and all it's doing is basically making your swing better. Um, now, the one last thing we do uh, with the mental process, which leads us to the physical process, which we'll learn in later episodes, is we come look the ball to the hole. And when we look the ball to the hole, we're, again, we're not trying to do much more than look at the path we want the ball to travel. Now, another thing that's so good about your pre-shot routine that I think is probably the biggest quality of it all is when you're in a, a co competitive situation, I've been in many, the Moscone Cup, uh, US Open, uh, plenty of league back in the day. Um, what it does is, to me, it's almost like a slow day at work versus a busy day at work. And what I mean by that is when you're gathering this information, you may start to ignore that you're in the finals of the tournament. You may start to not realize it's hill hill in the match and you're in a pressure situation because you're busy doing things. So it kind of preoccupies the mind. You're always going to realize it's the finals. But if we can dummy that down a few ways and be productive while we're doing so, that's really the ticket to the pre-shot routine and the mental process. So again, we're going to look into the hole for the last we're going to try and come two cushions to gain position on the three. So again, gather some information just to make the stroke a little better. 